In today's video, this is going to be a really cool video. I've got something really special to show you, and this is how to make coloring book backgrounds. So obviously I sell some backgrounds in my, in my link below, I'll drop a link in there and you can check out some premium designs that I did hire professional designers to create those for me. They're using all the special tools, Adobe Photoshop, InDesign, all those uh, fancy stuff that I don't know how to use, but I want to show you unknown software, a unique software that you can create some pretty darn cool unique custom design backgrounds and anybody can do it. I'm going to show you step by step on how to do this. <clears throat> And what this will allow you to do is stand out from the crowd and create some backgrounds that no one else will um, be able to create or nobody else is creating. So, and then check out what gets spit out. This is super cool. You can certainly uh, use, utilize different patterns and shapes and backgrounds from different sources. You could actually use Creative Fabrica and do uh, your own backgrounds on this, but I would just make sure that you're only using these for your own uh, work and publishing your own books. Uh, you wouldn't be able to use Creative Fabrica stuff and then use this software to recreate designs and then sell those to somebody as a pack. You wouldn't be able to do that. So you do have to have the uh, rights to be able to use the shapes in order to create a unique product. If you were actually going to try to sell these or re-upload these to a creative fabrica. So make sure you're fine following all the guidelines, but I am going to show you what has been. And today we're actually going to be using uh, Canva. And so obviously you can use Canva for free and get some really good shapes and designs out of there. And we're going to use Canva and we're going to create something. And then I'm going to show you how we can take that design and make something even cooler than you can actually make inside of Canva. So let's jump in real quick. <clears throat> so we're on Canva and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to create design and I'm going to do custom size and I'm going to do a 3000 by 3000 pixel pixels design. I'm going to say create new design. Okay. So it's going to open up. And once we are right here inside Canva, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to elements real quick and I'm going to type in flowers. So let's just check out flowers, right? And what I like to do is I like to come up here to the filter button and I like to go for stuff that's just white, white and black. And so it'll sort it out by stuff that's more, more or less a potential of utilizing the way that we're going to be creating this. If you get the colored ones, uh, for example, like this one, you're going to have to come in here and start messing with the colors. And uh, you know, once you push the, push that as white, and then you push this one as white, you're really, there's just no way. That's one of the downfalls of Canva is that there's no way to really get the, you know, to only keep the outline of the designs as black. So then they're great for coloring books. I do have a, a video that I'll I'll try to drop a link or, or uh, up at the top here. Check that out real quick. And it's actually how you can uh, do this in PicMonkey if you're interested in that. PicMonkey does allow you to uh, do a little bit more customiz customizations to your shapes. But we're going to move on. I'm going to grab some of this stuff, right? So we're going to grab like this right here. That looks great. And I'm going to go ahead and move it down um, here. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab another couple right here. And I'm going to go to the flip and horizontal. We're going to just kind of just uh, see what we can design today. I'm going to move that to about halfway mark. I'm going to move this one up to about the, where it's touching. It's perfect right there. I like that. So then now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab a couple other different flower shapes uh, like this one. Maybe it looks pretty cool. We're going to go like that and I'm going to move it up about halfway and then we're going to grab something else. Let's see if we can find another one that I like. Do, do, do. Let's keep searching through here. See what we can find. Let's go through. Maybe this one right here looks pretty cool. We're going to go put that in the corner over there as well. And we're going to bring it all the way down to where it just touches. Looks pretty cool right there. And now we're going to get some smaller type shapes and let's go ahead and grab uh, something that will look pretty cool right here is like maybe this right here. Okay. And we're going to shrink this down to about right there. And I'm going to throw that right there. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste, and then we're going to grab a couple. I'm going to put that one. I'm going to make it a little smaller. We're going to put that right there. And I might do a couple other copy paste of these big ones. Maybe throw that one there and another paste. We're going to throw this one right here. So as you can see, you could actually create this as, you know, I'm going to grab something else too, real quick. As you can see, this would already be a kind of a pretty cool coloring book background that we're creating right here inside Canva, which is 
really cool. This one, it's a little different and we'll move that down. But I'm gonna show you how you can take this and do even cooler stuff uh, with it. So I'm gonna copy paste that. This is just the beginning. We can do even better than this. We can make something really custom. I'm gonna paste that one more time. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit, throw that right here. So you've got this design, you know, it looks pretty cool. I like to color that. And you could uh, make an eight and a, uh, an eight by um, 11 and a half, 8.5 and make something like this. And you can create coloring pages right here inside Canva. And I uh, have videos on how to do that. But now what we're going to do, which is really cool, pay attention. And we're jumping into the really cool part where I'm going to show you a secret software that nobody knows about. I know that uh, the software launched and they didn't make a whole lot of sales. So not very many people actually have this software. I will drop a link below just in case you're interested, but this is a really cool software. So we're going to go ahead and go to download. We're going to download this as a JPEG. Um, the software requires it to be downloaded as a JPEG. So we're going to go ahead and just, we'll title this real quick. We'll just say background. We'll just say background one. Let's say you're going to create a bunch of backgrounds, right? So we're going to go and JPEG and I'm going to push download. So that's going to download. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move over to activity book mastery. And this is a software that, you know, when you, even when you're looking at it, it doesn't look, you know, graphically, you know, appealing or it's, you know, but it's about what the software can do for us. Right. So we're going to go and we've got our design here and there's all kinds of different things that you can do over here. Seamless images, layered images, picture slice, kaleidoscopes, really cool stuff. Comic book templates, mazes, trivias, paper games. You can all your interiors with this software. And if you were, depending on where you're getting your shapes and stuff like that, you can actually create a bunch of stuff with this software and then you could upload it to creative fabrica and sell them on creative fabrica sell them on fivers and you know if you're a designer you can make some really cool stuff but let's we'll continue with the backgrounds background now we're going to go and we're going to use this my favorite feature inside the software which is the seamless images background creator so it's going to open this box up right and we have to you have to have a lower than 4,000 pixels wide so that's why i went 3,000 by 3,000 and you'll see how great this turns out so we're going to go we're going to choose our file we're going to grab our file right here that we just created and we're gonna open that up and I'm gonna upload the picture. So it's gonna upload and then once it's done, then you have a couple different options here, right? And you can download the zip file or you can just look at the PDF. We're gonna actually just click the PDF this time. I'm gonna click the PDF and then check out what gets spit out. This is super cool. Look at this design that gets spit out right here. You're not gonna be able to do this with, I mean, there's other softwares that you'd be able to do different patterns and overlays and things like that. But for, for somebody that does not know how to use the, you know, the advanced softwares, look at how this software just spit out a really unique custom pattern design. And if we come in here and we actually zoom in, you can see up here where it just nicely cuts off perfectly a nice, because we use that border. It just, it just cuts it off beautifully and you can come in here and you can color. So if, and if this is too, this is pretty, you know, detailed, if you wanted to go less detailed, you just do a couple different shapes. You would do a little bit less shapes, but look at how we have the shapes that came through here, these little shapes right here. And, and then they get sprinkled out through it. Right? So this really is a, a very unique um, way of creating some backgrounds. There's gonna, no, there was not going to be any other software or any other uh, page. You're not going to find another page where someone did this exact same thing and came up with this unique background right here. Right? So this is super cool. And if you're interested in this, then I am dropping the link um, below and it is for, we're going to go back to home. It is activity book mastery software. There's all kinds of other stuff you can do here, but this is um, by far worth the price alone. The fact that you can create custom backgrounds like this, um, really simply. And then what you can do with this PDF, you can, you do get the images as well, but what you can do with this PDF is you can actually download the PDF, right? And we're just going to uh, go to downloads seamless. I'm going to save it there. Then you can go PDF to uh, PNG and we're going to just you can click that first link and then we're going to go upload file and we've got our seamless right there and it's going to convert. It's converting this PNG and then 
it's converting it to a to a PNG. So then you can really take this and do whatever you want with it. You can re-upload it back into um, Canva, right? You can we'll just uh, 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 extract this real quick, open, and we got a PNG now, right? So now you have your PNG file right here. You can upload this PNG file to Canva and you have your, so I'll show you real quick. So you can go back over to uh, Canva over here and let's just say we went back to home, create design, custom size, and let's, we went back into inch now. So an 8.5 by 11, let's say you're making a coloring book, okay? So then now what you can do is go um, over here to uploads, push the upload media button, device, we're on, under downloads and we have our PNG file was right here. So now we have our PNG file. I believe you can upload the PDF right um, up to here as well, but the PNG is a little bit more flexible when you're trying to do different things with it, right? And so we have that, you've got your PNG file right here and you have your, and it just comes out uh, beautifully like that. And then there's your background. And then, you know, you can actually, um, and I would use PowerPoint. I would actually uh, put this right here and I would use PowerPoint. You can put text over this. So you can actually put your text here, okay? Then you can go ahead and um, make that bigger. And I, I haven't done this part in a while. Under effects, we might be able to make this hollow. There we go. We've made it hollow and we can change the thickness. So we've finally upgraded and made it to where you can actually do some pretty cool stuff in here with the actual text. So you can change the text and you uh, can now create coloring, full coloring books, quote coloring book inside Canva. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Nothing but pure value. Um, the software is really, really cool. Creating completely unique background patterns. And uh, if you're interested, link below. And if you liked this video, um, hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on my next video. Until next time, take care.